Have you talked to that dude? Have That's you a said good thank question. you? Tell him thank you for what? Okay, yeah, capitalize on your fame, but don't get mad at this nigga because if it wasn't for this nigga, it, you wouldn't be here. Huh? So it seems like every single year we have someone who pops out as more of a meme than anything else. And then said person extends their 15 yes, seconds sir. of fame far past where anyone ever thought they would. I'm sure by now most of you are aware of who the Hawk Tua girl is. I cannot believe she got that famous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even... method for giving out fellatio. I'm not What's even trying to be. in bed that makes a man go crazy every time? Oh, you, you gotta give him that Hawk Tua and spit on that thing. You get me? <laughs> now these types of. I, I'm not a hater, my nigga, because honestly, she she took that shit and she ran with it, which is what you do to get a bag, and that is fine, but I never found that shit even funny, bro. Clips go viral all the time, drunk people downtown saying stupid things on camera is a genre that has plagued the internet for the greater part of the last decade. In this case, he went out to the Honky Tonk Strip in Nashville, Tennessee, finding this diamond in the rough. Honk! Spit no, like, on it! Spit on it! This clip obviously went insanely viral, like it was something your like weird crazy uncle brings viral. up around the dinner table asking if anyone knows the hook to a girl. And she does actually have a name, by the way. It's Haley Welch. And she has taken this one moment and basically made an entire career out of it over the last couple of she months. She got a podcast I'm called not Talk To. Him. He just kept on posting them and posting them. So I was like, whatever. And so I got an attorney, like, after that. So I was like, everybody else is making money off of it with merchandise, and he's making money off the videos. I was like, that's not fair. Like, it's me. Why am I not making any money? So I went, and I got all my act together, and here I am. She's now making appearances at major events. Wait, she sued this nigga? Hosting her own podcast. Chilling with Steve, what? making appearances at major events, hosting. Is that Wiz her own fucking pod Khalifa, bro? Wiz fucking Khalifa. Podcast, chilling with Steve O, creating an AI dating app, and even shilling out cryptocurrency shit coins. Her fame and success has obviously left to many people questioning the validity of the entire thing. Is she an industry plant? Is the government conducting- Okay, I don't think she's an industry plant. The nigga went and did a street interview and it just got viral. That's not industry plant, bro. Think some sort of psych op? Is Jake Paul behind the scenes pulling the strings on this whole operation? Oh Today we will be unpacking all of that and more. First, let's talk about the Talk Tua podcast, where Hawk Tua herself interviews celebrities. This was actually That's the trailer insane. they released for a podcast only around two months after the first clip went viral. Y'all really thought I was done? I'm just getting started, baby. <laughs> What's one move in bed that makes a girl go crazy? I'm Jake Haley Paul. Welch. A little while ago, my life took a complete left turn and it changed forever. And along the way, I realized I won't lie, like she really did well, this now, shit. It's my but it's like. To talk. Now, I'm sure most of you have noticed this symbol up in the corner. This is a better production, which is an online betting company partially owned by no other than Jake Paul. Wow. I'm sure you noticed his presence as well in this trailer, and his boxing event versus Mike Perry was also the first time she would make a public appearance. This all leads me to believe that Jake is the force, or really the funding, behind the Hawk Tua industry plant narrative. In total, she has done 13 episodes of Talk Tua, getting less and less views as time goes on. Ultimately, any celebrity whose management had them appear on this show should be terminated immediately. Here is a look at what this show is really all about. You do it. No, you do it. I was I was just about to say, I heard they was talking about like shit Tua or something like that. Hawk. Oh, she's like Hawk Tua shit on that thing. Or, I was like. <laughs> you gotta put like an emphasis on it, like Tua. You know, like really, Tua. Yeah, say it. All right, all together. Hawk Tua. Hawk Tua. Hawk Tuh. Say it aggressive, like like you really tuh. like you're <laughs> mad at the day. You're mad at. Hot <laughs> yeah. Wow, I'm really perplexed that such a thought-provoking production is losing relevance at an alarming rate. I'm yeah. actually convinced that 90% of the viewership here. Not everybody needs a podcast, my nigga. Is just clicking on to either read or write the hate comments compiled beneath the video. This is literally the podcast that no one asked for, and somehow they got 200,000 people to subscribe. And y'all know, having a podcast, it's not technically a crime. Yes, some people should be locked Fuck away due to their negative contributions to society. 
But hey, I guess this one isn't exactly hurting anyone, but her other business activities seem questionable to say the least. Like her AI dating application, Pookie. The AI standout dating features is here are relationship advice from AI Hawk to a girl, a height detector so you never get catfished again, and- Ah, uh, what? You can even have an AI apparently do the talking for you. Now, the main problem I have with this app is- AI do the talking for me, nigga? That's the whole point of dating, nigga, is to, to express your personality and be yourself. What the fuck you need an AI to talk to a bitch for you for? That it's a blatant ripoff. They either want you to pay $5 a week to use the app or $40 per year. $5 a week? Nigga, it only costs $5 a month to subscribe. Well, not anymore, because Twitch, uh, Twitch upped the price. My, my fault, y'all. You know, guys, I had to that ask my mom up. for the money, and she gave me the five bucks. And that so nigga I just flexed on us, bro. And you know, guys, I had to that nigga just flexed on us. my mom for the money, and she Hold gave me that. the five bucks. <laughs> and so I download the app, I hand it to the huck to a girl, here you go. And I got to exploring this hellish beast of AI slop. I'm serious when I say that I think this he was thrown together by a freshman computer science major. And the entire thing is a massive pile of shit. Like, you don't even communicate with anyone else on this app. It's basically like a glorified, automated pickup artist bullshit. I basically, you're paying money here to talk to and get advice from an AI bot. And it's not even their own bot. They just poured over OpenAI and call it a day. The bot even admitted this to me straight up. I then asked her poorly not coded- Not- No, that's nuts, bruh. That's nuts, bro. Her AI is literally chat GPT integrated into another app. AI had to get a girl to spit on my thing, and she said all I had to do was take her out for some barbecue. These motherfuckers were so cheap that they couldn't even port over an AI of her actual voice. They just got Timu Siri out here talking about degenerate shit. If she likes ya, yeah, she'll be hawking to a whatever you want in no time. Just remember, charm goes a long way. But manners go even further winking face. That shit is not gonna work, my nigga. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. There is there is girls out there that will really, really suck your shit up without you even taking them out. Let's let's just keep it a stack, my nigga. I am not I don't indulge in that, but like let's let's keep it a stack, bro. There, there's come on now. Ace. Their terms and conditions page is equally as thorough, but don't worry, they insist they aren't stealing your data, just your IP address. And they also want access to all your photos and files so they can teach you how to riz up your crush. Honestly, Dumb. the whole thing to me just feels just like a shameless cash GPT. grab that someone likely paid her to promote on her platforms. I would rather pay for one of those early 2010 talking cat apps than <laughs> ever touch this thing again. Now, talking if the Tom. dating coach app was not bad enough, just yesterday, Haley announced the official release of her meme coin, Hawk, aka Hawk Tua. My Hawk meme coin is live! Now, she would do this only a couple of weeks after sitting down with Mark Cuban on her podcast, and I think this is where the idea kind of spawns in her mind. Do you do anything with crypto? Yeah, I do a lot with crypto, actually. I, I've ah. got a shit ton of Bitcoin and Ethereum. Oh, yeah, if I want to meme coin, can I give you some tokens? Yeah, I'll give community? you my wallet. I'll give you my wallet. Actually. Okay. <laughs> she also admitted here that she just recently got into cryptocurrency. So after I saw Michael Saylor speak at the Bitcoin conference, I have decided to start putting some money into crypto and I just want to say, oh my God, thank you so much, Mr. Saylor. So just like the app, I speculate that she had someone build out this shit coin in a couple of weeks <laughs> and now it's available for trade. <laughs> People off the rip had huge issues with this as it's looking like yet another pump and dump situation. One wallet apparently owned 43% of the total supply of coins with another seven- Whoa, 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 whoa. 46 million for 4 billion coins. Whereas, look at this one. Wait, hold on, no. That's 1 billion. One wallet apparently owned 43% of the total supply. Do you realize how stupid that is? That means... Okay. Of coins that mean that that literally means that the coin is worth way less than the dollar because it should be the other way around it should be four billion for 46 million that would mean you're making a good investment this shit is worth less than a dollar 
with another 7 of the wallets holding another 51%, meaning that 8 wallets that were apparently all affiliated with each other owned 94% of this shit. And now the graph just looks like a fun little slide. As I speculate, this shit coin was dumped faster than a dog in South San Antonio. And I must admit, guys, I'm really not that into crypto. But Me even neither. I can see that this is something that could get this chick in some serious trouble. I mean, to me, these alleged rug pulls are really nothing more than fraud. And though she did deny the allegations, looking at this cell data kind of tells the whole story. And then last night, her and her crypto team behind the coin hopped uh -oh. onto a Twitter space to try and explain themselves, and it just went horribly wrong. And once CoffeeZilla was allowed <laughs> to try and explain themselves- Not in there, look at him, he was in there, <laughs> I'm crying! And it just went horribly <laughs> wrong. And once CoffeeZilla was allowed to speak, well, things started getting pretty spicy. This is one of the most miserable, horrible launches I've ever seen in my life. Okay, then why the fuck are you on? Okay, so there's Co tokens Coffee going just... directly from the main account. CoffeeZilla, <laughs> just- just chill for a second. And, and then it's just, getting sold just, for 50K. Who is that? Definitely not us. You think we're doing this for 50K? Yeah, fucking right. Talking to the wrong guy. You're used to these bullshit scammers out here. Not us. Now, we had- That's what we everyone had, says, by the way. Listen, everyone listen, doesn't matter. Me. No, no, I'm not everyone. And then they got so mad that they were getting dismantled by this man, Steven, that they just muted the man altogether in the middle of his no, hard hitting questions. got these niggas. Where did the fees go? Where did the money for the pre-sale tokens go? Why did y'all unlock day one so people could dump on Haley Welsh's fans? And how involved was she really? And how much? And Haley kept coming on basically saying that she's new to this and still trying to learn the ins and outs of being famous. Yeah, guys, I'm just here to have fun. I don't really have a full head wrapped around this whole thing but i'm figuring it out every day and i'm here for the long term yeah uh, i'm doing the best i can thank you what an absolute pathetic excuse for allowing yourself to nah, be the face of a scam she makes it clear that she's not going anywhere after facing the backlash my skin's getting thicker every day and the hate's not gonna stop me i'm here every day trying to work on this and get better at it but i'm not going anywhere and to me, this will likely be the end of the Hawk Tua experience. And hopefully she cashed out on the Hawk coin because this is the type of thing that destroys your reputation and can even put you in a lot of legal harm all at once. On top of that, she's competition and can even- Oh my- If you lost money on Hawk, contact our firm to learn about your legal rights. Ooh. Girl. Girl. Even put you in a lot of legal harm all at once. On top of that, she's come out and said that she's not even willing to thank the original street interviewer who made her famous that night. Have you talked to that dude? Have That's you a said good thank question. you? Tell him thank you for what? This is what I said at the beginning when she said that, oh, I got my attorney. I was like, did she sue this nigga? And she was like, well, he's getting paid for the videos. Why not me? It's me. When she said it's me, I get it. Like, okay, yeah. Capitalize on your fame, but don't get mad at this nigga because if it wasn't for this nigga, it, you wouldn't be here. Making you famous? Eh. So she won't help but thank him despite the fact that he helped to go from working at a factory to being a millionaire. Basically, she seems Shout super out. ungrateful Aquatic for the audience. fame, and now she's putting her face on literally anything that can make her a quick buck. To me, she clearly has the wrong people influencing her at this point, and I would say that her story is definitely coming to an end. Basically, she's like that Bobby Althoff chick, oh, yeah. just more southern, and somehow even worse. And so now I really believe that the overstay is over with. But y'all let me know what you guys think. Are y'all holding the hot coin in your portfolio? Either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching Tan today's Superman. video. Dropping a like and subscribing. But as you guys know, it's been your boy, the Tan Superman. And some other alleged scams out here need to be covered. So I'm out. You know what's crazy about her saying that? You don't have to grovel and be like, oh, it's all because of this person. Yeah, obviously you you made your, your podcast. You know, you capitalized on the on the, the viral moment. But who made the viral moment? The nigga who interviewed you made you a viral star. Yes, you don't have to thank him for everything you did after that. But you do need to thank this nigga for the initial push that he gave you, bro. You skipped plenty of steps that niggas like me and other niggas have to go through to get to success you skipped like 90 percent of it maybe even 95 percent of it and you just overnight success
You know what I'm saying? Overnight success. You skipped a large portion of the work you have to do to build success on the internet, bro. But I digress. Like I said, I'm not a hater or anything like that, but I will say it is satisfying to see her, her career start a, you know, <laughs> to see her downfall, it's satisfying. I, I don't wish uh, failure upon anybody, but it, it's kind of satisfying to see. I can't lie about that.